What's up, Fig Fam? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing an updated room tour. I've upgraded a lot of stuff since the last video. It's going to be a long one, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Check it out. So we're going to start off with what I like to call the lobby. This section of the room is designed to showcase different pieces of action figure art. I have reproductions of the original WWF Hasbro patents. On this side of the wall, I have the Hulk Hogan patent. On the other side of the wall, I have the Rick Rude patent. Both patents feature the mechanisms and parts required to make each figure's action work. In the middle, I have the original unreleased Hasbro prints I designed, which feature a Green Trunks Macho Man Randy Savage, the Mega Maniacs Brutus the Barber Beefcake, the Rhythm and Blues Greg the Hammer Valentine, the unreleased Tugboat action figure, as well as the Red Face Demolition Crush action figure. This is a pretty cool piece. This is a promotional punching bag for No Holds Barred the movie. This was used at video stores as a display piece when the movie came out on VHS and Beta. It's next to my pop collection, which I display in Michael's baseball bat cases. I have them all organized in different ways, like legends, women superstars, attitude error, current superstars. Really no rhyme or reason. I just like having them all together. And on the sides, I have a lot of my chase figures. with this heel cave sign that my mother made and this original hand-drawn concept art of me as a WWF wrestling buddy. It was actually gifted to me by the original designer of the WWF wrestling buddies, Stephanie S. Kander. So now it's time to enter the heel cave. <laughs> To the room you see my WWF Superstar Series 1 and 2 Mint on Card collection on the wall. My collection is about 80% loose and 20% mint on card if I have an attachment to the packaging design. This is one of my favorite designs of all time so I needed these mod. With that said, we'll start with my mint on card collection and work our way to the loose figures. Building my room, the first thing I installed was this retail wall. It was originally loaded solely with Mattel Basics, but I've since put most of my basics in storage to make room for my retros. I'm not going to spend too much time on each figure, but I'll run through each peg really quickly to give you a feel for what some of my personal favorites are.
shelf below my retros is more so a temporary storage shelf for things I have to unbox still. This section fills up and empties out pretty quickly as I'm always buying and filming unboxing videos for the channel. Next up is my Elite Library. I have the older Elites on the bottom and the newer on the top. I plan to do a full video dedicated to my Elite collection in the near future, so for now, here's a quick run through. I get asked a lot why I display them like this. I just love the library look and being able to pull the box off the shelf, check out the figure, the artwork, turn it around, read the stats, the lineup. The Elite packaging is another one of my favorite designs of all time. And while I do have hundreds of loose Mattels, I have some of my favorites in the box because I enjoy the look and display. So now we'll get into what everyone came to see, the Lucy's. figures organized sequentially by release from top to bottom, with the exception of some small items that just don't fit on a shelf by themselves. First up are the WWF LJNs. Now most of these are from my childhood and I've slowly been replacing them with mint versions. You'll also find on this shelf the original order form for the G.I. Joe Hasbro Sergeant Slaughter LJN style action figure. Here we have another shelf of my childhood LJNs, and also on this shelf, I have the Wrestling Superstars Hulk Hogan Watch Mitten Package. And here we have my favorite LJN shelf that has Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Jake the Snake, and White Shirt Hogan. You'll also find another order form for Sergeant Slaughter G.I. Joe action figures. This shelf is a hodgepodge of all different eras of wrestling. It features the Wrestling Superstars board game, the LJN Bendies and Thumb Wrestlers, the Jax Thumb Wrestlers, some Playmates figures, the Headliner style figures, uh, the Pewter Keychain, some G.I. Joes, some Squirt Heads, a little bit of everything, but um, my favorite is the Winston Toys Wendy Richter Eraser. Down here I have various large scale Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior figures in front of my LJN Hulkamania workout set. This shelf houses my small AWA action figure collection, the AWA ring, the Rocky Thunderlips figure, as well as my major wrestling figure podcast figures and micro brawlers. Next up is the first of my two Hasbro shelves. This shelf features the Hasbro figures from Series 1 to Series 5 in sequential order. The only figure missing is a Series 3 Macho Man, but I have that mint on card in my mint on card collection. Shelf 2 continues the Hasbro collection from Series 5 to Series 11. It also features some fun schools and some WWE Mattel retro figures.
This shelf is dedicated to housing my WWF Just Toys Bendems collection. It also features the Micro Bendems and a couple more retros that didn't fit on the Hasbro shelf. bottom shelf of my display is dedicated to housing my large-scale plush action figures like these WWF Tonka Wrestling Buddies designed by my friend Stephanie Eskander. I also have a WWE Firefly Funhouse Mercy the Buzzard hand puppet. The next four shelves mainly focus on various incarnations of WCW action figure lines. This shelf focuses on WCW's Galoob action figures, the Just Toys Twistables, as well as their WCW Old San Francisco Toy Makers rubber action figures. On this shelf, you'll find more WCW Old San Francisco Toy Makers figures. I have the vibrating figures as well as the Nitro action figure line. The main focus of this shelf though is the CMLL Old San Francisco Toy Makers line. I also have a single AAA Kelly and La Parca. Despite being a die-hard WWF fan, the WCW Toy Biz action figure line was one of my favorites of all time. I love the Hack, Conan, the Rodman figures. Just great action, great looks, and a lot of fun to play with. Next up, we have shelf two of the WCW Toy Biz line. And yes, those are the ICP action figures in the corner. The bottom shelf here features the Jake the Snake and Big Boss Man WWF Wrestling Buddies. It also features the Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, and Sting Bash and Brawlers by Toy Biz. And sandwiched between my loose shelves are various WWE Jack Specific Mint On Car Classic Superstars figures.
onto my Jax BCA collection. I have them organized sequentially by series and if the figure has a variant, they're displayed side by side. shelf I have more WCW Bash and Brawlers by Toy Biz. We have the Red Face Sting, Kevin Nash, DDP, Goldberg, and Bret the Hitman Hart. Next up we have more Jax BCAs and this shelf is dedicated to pretty much the last few series from the BCA line. I've collected all of the figures and their variants except for one, and that's the WWF WrestleMania 15 Mail Away Austin with the alternate logo. Although not technically part of the bone crunching action line, the WWF Backlash series that was exclusive to KB Toys featured the same molds as the BCA figures. Here's a few of my collection. Next up is my complete WWF Stomp collection. For years, this line was trashed by collectors until recently it started getting the love it deserves. Continuing the Jax trend is my near complete collection of maximum sweat figures. I'm only missing three from the Electronics Boutique exclusives, The Undertaker, Ken Shamrock, and Edge. On the bottom shelf, we have the Scott Steiner WCW Bash and Brawler, as well as the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Hardy Boys. Here I have a very condensed shelf of WWF Titantron Live figures. The next couple shelves house my WWE Ruthless Aggression style figures. I'm trying to collect one of each character that was designed in this format. This is what I call one of my temp shelves. Right now, it houses my loyal subjects, build and brawl, and microaggression figures. But once a new line comes in, these will be wiped off and the new stuff will be put in. And on the bottom shelf, we have a random sting plush from a carnival and the WWF Bone Crunching Buddies by Jax. Music 
This shelf is dedicated to one of my favorite wrestling action figure lines of all time, the original San Francisco Toy Makers ECW line. I have the complete collection, or so I thought, until the No Noose New Jack surfaced online. Here we have the TNA Marvel figures. I was never a big fan of the TNA product, but these figures were ahead of their time. I plan to do more unboxings on the channel and add way more to this shelf in the future. Here we have another temp shelf with various minis including the WWE Funko Mystery Minis as well as all of my micro brawlers that are still in the package. I plan on doing a big unboxing of all of these figures, I just haven't gotten around to it. And here we have various sets from the WWE Bridge Direct Stack Down series. I also have some of the minifigures and exclusive minifigures in a couple different displays scattered throughout. On this shelf, I have more WWF Jack's Bone Crunch and Buddies, as well as the new Talking Big Figs of Roman Reigns and John Cena. And this corner of the room is dedicated to my mint on card WWE Jack's Classic Superstars collection. Now I did a whole video of showing off every single figure here, so I'm going to quickly graze through this. As we finish looking at the muscles and classic superstars figures, we're going to move on to some of my favorite pieces of mine, my mint on card Hasbro's. up we have Smash and Ted DiBiase from the Fun School line from India. Now while these cards may look damaged, they're actually in great condition for the Fun School line as most of them are ripped in half, torn and open. Now we're going to go down the line of all of my Minton card WWF Hasbro figures. I will show you all of them right here in this line except for the 123 Kid and Evil Crush which are in my detail that I'll show you later.
Next up, moving on to my mint on card WWF LJN collection. I don't have many, but this Kamala is in excellent condition. I also have a manager series Luscious Johnny V. We have a special delivery Jones in the Hawaiian shirt. And my favorite, the manager's Mean Gene Overland. One of my main goals in collecting is to acquire all of the WWF Hasbro products outside of the action figures, including this Hulk Hogan dress up and the trace plates you just saw. At the foot of this shelf, I have the WWF squirt heads, the Remco shootout figures, as well as the WWF applause figures. I also have the crayon box, the superstar sticker album, and a random WCW Hulk Hogan target game. The main focus of this shelf is the Ultimate Warrior costume set by Hasbro, as well as the WWF Hasbro World Heavyweight Championship title belt. Here you'll find more WWF squirt heads, the Remco shootout figures, and more applause PVC figures, as well as some card games and the color form set mint in box. Here we have some more WWF minis from Hasbro, the Galoob Collector Case, the WWF Superstars Microphone by Jax, as well as one of my favorite pieces, the WWF Wrestling Top Set with The Undertaker and Hulk Hogan on the package. This shelf's a little random, but it has the super rare WWF tug of war game that I eventually want to replace with a mint and sealed box one, but they're super rare to come by. It also has the Sting, Undertaker, and Austin Big Head figures, a WWF Superstar Bar box, the LJN Young Bucks, and a random Stone Cold Steve Austin car. Here you'll find a hodgepodge of WCW and WWF big figs. Nowhere else to put them, so I just kind of squeezed them all together on one shelf. Another little shelf of randomness, the WWF Bungie's game with Sable and Austin. We got a couple inflatable things as well as the WWF Jack's bangers box with all the figures and some doubles. Really cool display piece. These next two shelves are dedicated to the WWE Masters of the WWE Universe figures. I have Series 1, Series 2, and the gift set. I also have on display the Playmates Nickelodeon TMNT WWE figures from Series 1. And behind everything, I have a couple of the WWE Mattel Superstars dolls. They were cheap when Toys R Us went out of business, what can I say? Okay, here's some more cool items. We got the Mankind Jug. We got the Jesse Ventura 12 inch action figures. They're kind of like GI Joes. I have another one on another shelf. I have the Undertaker Jug, but also we have the WCW NWO Toy Biz Body Bashers display box with a couple of random figures in it. And here we have a Rockwater Jug. We have the Playmates Heroes of Wrestling Undertaker figure. We have the 14 inch talking Undertaker, which I always thought was so cool with the details and the tattoos. We have a Heroes of Wrestling Psycho Sid Vicious figure and a Stone Cold Steve Austin water jug. And behind them, we have some big figs, which I'll show you. First up is another GI Joe style Jesse Ventura figure. Here we have the WCW original San Francisco toy maker signature series, Bill Goldberg. And here's the WCW OSFTM Signature Series Sting. Like most WCW products, they had to make a Wolfpack Sting as well. Here we have the Signature Series Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And my favorite from the line, the NWO Macho Man Randy Savage. If you're a fan of the channel, you know I love unboxing the WWE Jax Ring Giants figures, so here's my shelf dedicated to all of those that I've unboxed so far.
On top of the shelves, I have the WWF model kits, the WWF Jax Ripped and Ruthless Series 1 and 2 figures mint in box, as well as the WWF Jax Legends figures mint in box. This shelf houses my WWE Slam Crate Slam Stars figures. I eventually plan on unboxing all of them in a video, I just haven't gotten around to it. Here's where I keep some random things. You can see I have the WWE Slim Jim Macho Man by Mattel, the Bleacher Creature Finn Balor, here's the Creative Superstar Hulk Hogan figure, which I always thought was cool because it's kind of like uh, Mr. America. I also have the WWE Mattel Creative Superstar Bray Wyatt. Here you can see my Shawn Michaels Defining Moments figure by Mattel. Here we have the amazing Macho Man Randy Savage Defining Moments action figure. This Defining Moments Undertaker is my personal favorite that Mattel has made so far. Here we have the Defining Moments Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in his dragon gear, which is just so awesome and so colorful. What a great job by Mattel. Another shelf of randomness, but first up, we have the WWE Domes Legends figures. I only have a few. I have Sting, Roddy Piper, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Moving on to my small WWE Bleacher Creature collection. First up, we have The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. We have Firefly Funhouse, Bray Wyatt. We have Enzo Amore. Big Cass, and of course, The Rock. Next up, we have the one-off WWE Little People set. It has the Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man Randy Savage, as well as this Loot Crate exclusive New Day ornament style figure. Moving on to my WWE Mattel Retro Fest GameStop exclusives, we have Ric Flair, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Honky Tonk Man, Shawn Michaels, and Macho Man Randy Savage. random mitten box Mattels. First up, we have the exclusive Bootios 3-pack of the New Day. Here we have the Brood Hardy Boys exclusive from Ringside Collectibles. Now, on to the WWE Mattel entrance grades. Here we have Triple H. Next up, we have The Rock. Bill Goldberg. The Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. The highly anticipated Jeff Hardy figure. And behind him, I have the Wyatt Family 3-pack. The 
final random shelf has the WWE Mattel Retro Ring, some Bend and Flex figures, the Hall of Fame Dusty Rhodes Ring mitten box, some other random big figs, as well as my favorite piece, the art set by WCW featuring Goldberg and Hulk Hogan on the cover. Here you'll see the WWE Shop Hardy Boys figures as well as more classic superstars. Now John Zandig is a family friend and I have these CZW figures from his stint in Japan as well as the Junkasai 2-pack and Junkasai single figures. Below them, I have the light up Bray Wyatt Lantern, and below him, I have some more random elites I just didn't have room for on my shelves. Now, moving on to the Detolfs. this detolf is the Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, Razor Ramon, Undertaker, and Ric Flair Defining Moments figures mint in box inside of an LJN ring. So first up is my pre-production shelf. I have an unreleased Create a Superstar Stardust, a classic Superstars Jake the Snake hand-painted prototype, a build and brawl Shawn Michaels that never came out. I also have the Enzo and Cass, and in the back we have the test shot of the Ron Simmons Elite my resin prototype of the Rocky Maivia figure, the resin bobblehead of Mick Foley as Santa Claus, I have the test shot of Goldust, and here's the unreleased Beth Phoenix build and brawl head. Here I have my OSFTM ECW ring and accessory pack, and in front of that are my mint on card Evil Crush and 123 Kid green card Hasbros. Here I have my mint in box Talking Ultimate Warrior, which is one of the best shapes I've ever seen. We have the sealed in bag Mail Away Hogan and the Jake the Snake Roberts Damien in box. Now moving on to my loose Mattels. On this side of the bottom shelf are all of my zombie figures. On this side I have all of my Rey Mysterio Mattels. I also have a few other figures that just didn't fit elsewhere. Inside of this monster ring, I have the Sting DMs, the John Cena, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. This shelf is mostly dedicated to suited figures, like builder figures managers, authority figures, all kinds of stuff like that. Here we have the Major WF Pod Shelf. It has some of my favorite figures from Matt Cardona and Brian Myers. This shelf is dedicated to some of my favorite tag teams that Mattel's made. This shelf is more so my lower card figures. I got a little heat last time because I called them the jobber shelf. And here's the other side of my suited figure shelf. And yes, my JR only has one arm because when I bought the whole set to build the figure, it only came with one arm. Here we have some of my favorite female superstar figures as well as Hornswoggle and El Torito. This shelf has more tag teams as well as Nexus front and center. tag teams as well as a few other figures that just didn't fit anywhere else. On top 
this shelf, I have the Ultimate Warrior, Shinsuke Nakamura, Ric Flair, and Chris Jericho defining moments inside of my Galoob ring. some flashbacks as well as some future legends like Randy Orton, John Cena, and Brock Lesnar. Another shelf of WWE legends. A few more legend figures as well as my favorite the SES Straight Edge Society CM Punk front and center. A few random figures as well as the New Day and the Shield doing the Shield pose. Check out Stashed Up Cody Rhodes. This one's more so dedicated to WWF Attitude Era Legends. This one is mostly legendary tag teams as well as a few other figures that, again, just didn't fit anywhere else. Here we have a few modern guys as well as my favorite Bray Wyatt figure front and center. have the final shelf of Mattel's. My last room tour I got a lot of hate because I didn't show a Hasbro ring. I in fact have two. I have a loose one somewhere in storage as well as this mint in box WWF Hasbro sound ring. Now right outside my storage closet is this ring worn win or lose never defeated Zack Ryder signed shirt from June 10th, 2019, when they lost the tag team titles. When you first enter the storage closet, you see the WWF WrestleMania 14 display poster from Toys R Us. It has Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels. In this bag, I have my WWF Remco Superstar Shootout in box. It's open and played with, but it's complete. I also have a bunch of ring chairs from the pay-per-views. Here you see I have Royal Rumble, Vengeance, this is like a WrestleMania Legends one, Survivor Series, Survivor Series, and Payback. Above I have a ring and a few other things that I use in my videos. Here I have the WrestleMania Total Attitude accessory set. The Stone Cold Steve Austin roleplay set, the Undertaker roleplay set, as well as a Ringside Collection roleplay set. Here's my random collection of Jada medals, the Jax mini rings, a random JCPenney four pack. I have another Titantron Live four pack. Both Perfect 10 sets, which are pretty cool. They have an exclusive Billy Gun. They're both the same, just different packaging. I have a 12 inch Federation Fighter, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Camo, some random water games. Here you see a few rings as well as my complete WWF Jax BCA box set collection, as well as a few Titan Tron box sets. I also have the Monster Ring. I'm not gonna show everything because I did a whole video showing every single one of these pieces. factory cases of WWE Mattel Basics and this is my drawer filled with accessories. Every time I get an accessory or a new figure that has an accessory, I bag it up, I mark it with what the figure is and what set it's in and it goes into one of these drawers.
here we have two of my extra bins. Anytime I have an extra figure, a duplicate, or something I just don't have room to display in my room, it goes into one of these bins. I have three or four more of these into my other storage that's not at my house. So that's it for the new room tour. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions on anything that I showed, just comment below and I'll get to your question as soon as possible. Have a good one. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.